Hello, and welcome to this video presentation. My name is Paul Brett. I'm a senior software support analyst supporting the Transformation Extender product from IBM. The topic for this video is adding the ITX node to the ACE or IIB toolkit. Feel free to reach out to me on popular social media channels at Paul Brett IBM. Today I will be demonstrating the steps required to integrate ITX with the ACE toolkit. You can find these instructions in the release notes using the link on screen. Go to the IBM App Connect Enterprise Notes section and you will find a paragraph headed Integrating the Transformation Extender Perspective with IBM App Connect Enterprise Toolkit. Here on my virtual machine we have a new installation of ACE 12 Toolkit. So the first thing we need to do is go into the Help menu and choose Install New Software. In the list of repos you will find that there is no ITX repo currently, so I'm going to add one. I'm going to call this repo ITX1011. I'm going to click the local button and to navigate through my machine through the C drive in the IBM directory into the directory where I've installed Transformation Extender. I find Design Studio and now I'm going to point to WTX repo and click Select Folder and Add. Now that the repo has been added and selected the components that can be installed are shown in the window below. If they're not shown in this fashion it might be that your Group Items by Category box is not ticked and you see a lot of other components that are irrelevant. So tick this box, expand the App Connect Enterprise section. I'm going to select the first three entries at the top here. I don't need Standard Processing Engine, I don't need Sterling B2B Integrator. Click Next, click Next, agree to the licenses, then click Finish. It is normal for a warning to come up saying that the software is unsigned. I'm going to click Install anyway. I'm going to restart the toolkit now to apply those changes. OK, the software is installed. Let's do some verification. First thing I'm going to do is create a new integration project. In my new integration project, I'm going to create a new message flow. And in my flow, I should be able to add a Sterling TX node. It's appeared on the palette, I click and I drop and now I can define an ITX map. Additionally we can change to a different perspective, we can change to the Transformation Extender perspective within the toolkit and we can actually start to design ITX artifacts. For example, right click, new, type tree. I can also do right click, new, map source. And there we have it, I've defined a new map called test1 which takes the input and applies the uppercase function to it. Save and build, close that for the moment, switch back to the integration flow designer perspective and we can use map from project, select the map that I just created. Let's put some input and output nodes onto this message flow, I'm going to use MQ, one MQ input one MQ output. On the MQ input node I'm going to specify test Q1. On the output node I'm also going to specify test Q1. And now I'm just going to wire up these nodes so that the flow of data follows the correct path. This message flow is complete and is ready for deployment. I don't have any integration nodes defined yet so I'm going to do that next. OK, so I've created a node called inode within that an integration server called default. And now I should be able to drag my message flow directly onto that to deploy it. It's deployed successfully, no error messages. And if we go to our MQ Explorer, you notice we have queues called test Q1 and test Q2. If I do a new message onto test Q1, and then I browse the messages of test Q2, you will note that I have the same message that I just put in except it isn't there. I put the wrong queue name in. OK, I've reset my queues back to normal. 
uh, I've fixed the fault I had with my MQ output node. So if I save the flow and deploy it again and put a new test message onto the queue, browse the messages of Q2, and we have the message that I put in, but this time it's been capitalized. Hello. So there we go, that's verification that the installation went successfully. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video presentation today. If you found the content interesting and informative, please hit that like button, perhaps leave a comment. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel as I release content such as this on a regular basis. Feel free to reach out to me on popular social media channels at Paul Brett IBM. Thank you.